All right, so I wanted to open this margin account since this weekend, didn't have the time. So I'm gonna open it right now, and I'm gonna show you how to open a margin account with Questrade. So first of all, you go to questrade.com, then you click on open an account, and this is where you choose the type of accounts you want. Now, a margin account can only be opened in a non-registered account, so it won't be a TFSA or an, or an RRSP. It's gonna be a non-registered account, so it's gonna be taxable. So you click on margin account, under self-directed, of course, where you can buy and sell your own stocks, ETFs, and op options and more. And then under offer code, you're going to use my referral code in the description below the video. So basically, it's between $25 and $250 back, depending on your initial deposit. I think I'm going to be depositing between $5,000 and $10,000. So that's gonna be around $50, I think, cash back. All right, so once you enter, once, once you enter the, the offer code, click on open now, click continue. Now, if you're a new user, you're gonna create a user ID because I already have an account with Questrade. I'm opening a new account with Questrade, so I'm just gonna click login and enter my credentials. Then you're gonna answer some basic questions, personal information, your employment, your financial health, so your your assets, your debts, credit card debts, loans, loans on a car, mortgages. If you have a mortgage, that means you have a house. So your your house is an asset, but you also have the debt. So you're basically going to answer a few simple questions like that. So here it's it's allowing me to skip all these questions because I already have an account with them. So I'm going to go straight to, the, I guess the only thing that's missing here is citizenship. I don't know why. So country of citizenship, Canada. Were you born in the, U in the U.S.? No. Are you a U.S. person? No. No. Done. So because I already have an account with them, it was, as you can see, I skipped a lot of steps. If you want to see those exact steps, I'll link a video where I show more steps on how to open an account but this one in particular it was regarding the margin account so now i'll click on set up your account so there's three steps missing here so answer your account questions sign and submit your documents fund your account do you want to trade options yes always even if you're not going to trade options always take always take the option because adding it afterwards can be annoying so what is the purpose of this account investing retirement personal use what will your initial deposit for be for this account i'm gonna say 1000 no i don't need to add an authorized tra trader i confirm that no other individuals or entities have financial interest or beneficial ownership in this account done consent and communication i do not object it, this is up to you but i'm, I'm I, you can choose either or. I'm, I'm going to choose the first one. I don't object to disclosing the information described above, which is my personal information. So this second part here is if you want to receive material on the companies that you're investing in by, by, by mail. Personally, I don't look at them. By mail, I look at them online. So I'm going to choose I do not want to receive any security holder material sent to beneficial owners of securities, but you could choose wh whichever you want. What is your preferred language for security holder materials? English. I understand the information that question has provided. Yes. Email address use. Yes. Done. Agreements start. I accept. So they want to make sure you're aware of the fees and everything except but I guess there you have to read the risks the risks involved the risks involved with trading on the stock market they know nobody reads all that done so so the first part is done here for me now I have to s sign something statement of acceptance And then I have to upload a government issued photo ID and then I have to fund the account. Once I fund the account, once I send money to the account, it's going to take exactly one business day for the account to be active. 
And to fund the account, you just pay it with your online banking as if you're paying a MasterCard or a Visa. So the payee will be Questrade, and the account number will be the account number provided once you finish opening this application. So it, I already have my account number here. It shows up here. So that'll be my account number that I can use to fund the account by paying it as an by paying it as a bill when I log into online banking. All right. So statement of acceptance, e-sign. So pretty simple. Don't have to print anything or fax anything or mail anything. Just click sign wherever they tell you to sign. It's pr the information here is already filled out from based on the questions you answered. You can re you can review it if you want. So there there's a credit verification before opening an account. Quebec residents there's a there's a special statement just for Quebec residents. Once that's done, you have the option to click finish. So click finish. So as you can see, it's pretty easy, it goes pretty fast. So because I already have an account with Questrade, I get to skip the government issued issued photo ID. But if it's your first time opening an account with Questrade, you're simply gonna upload it. You're gonna you can take a picture of your photo ID, of your government issued photo ID and just upload it to Questrade. Very, very simple. So now the last, last step I have here is to fund the account. So I've got my account number here, so I'll show you how it's done. So if you click on fund the account, it's giving you choices. So the easiest is online banking. So here's something that you should note. So the minimum initial funding for self-directed accounts, it's $1,000 to buy stocks and options. So $5,000 $5, to trade option spreads, $25,000 to write or sell uncovered calls. So these are more advanced strategies. Doesn't concern the average investor. So in my case, I only care about this, $1,000 to buy stocks and options. So that's my minimum investment. So I'm, so I'm gonna go to my online banking and add Questrade as a payee, as a bill payment. And I get two choices here, Currency Exchange or Questrade Inc. I'm gonna choose Questrade Inc. And then I'm just going to add the account number that was given to me. And then I'm just going to pay the bill normally. So yeah, I fund I funded the account simply by making a one thousand dollar bill payment to Questrade with the new account number. In exactly one business day, they should receive the funds and the account will be active. I'll provide a link below to the video where I open an account from A to Z. And tomorrow, very important, I'm going to try to upload a video regarding the margin call. What is a margin call? When does Questrade execute a margin call? When trading in a margin account with Questrade. So yeah, like always, if you can open an account with Questrade, use my referral code in the description below the video so you can get between $25 and $250 back. So in my case, I just opened a new account and I'm probably going to put between $5,000 and $10,000. So I'm probably going to be getting between $25 and $50 back. Right, if, you have, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.